evening, everyone. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Good evening, everyone. Are we feeling the burn? Are we feeling the burn? Welcome to the Bronx, the area that I represent in the New York State Assembly. My name is Luis Sepulveda. I am a proud Democrat, but I am not part of the Democratic establishment. You know, several months ago, I was told, you must endorse a particular candidate. And I said, hold on here. What's the rush to judgment? Why don't we find out about all the candidates? Let's review the record. Let's see what they stand for. Let's see who is more in tune with what the needs of this country is. Let's see who supports policies is going to help the county that I love and represent and have raised my family. And you know what? After I did that review, I said there is no choice. The only person that I could ever support in this election for president is Bernie Sanders. I want to say to all of you, bienvenidos al condado de la salsa. For those of you that are bilingually, cha bilingually challenged, I say welcome to the county of the salsa. Now the Bronx is a beautiful place, as you can see. But the Bronx has many issues that we have to deal with. The Bronx has issues of chronic unemployment, massive poverty. Only 62% of our children are graduating from high school. Out of 62 counties in the Bronx, we rank dead last in terms of health issues. We have children that are admired in poverty for years. Men and women that have lived in poverty and have been on welfare for years. And the more things happen, the more things remain the same. We have a candidate that's running for president that I believe will change that. Bernie Sanders' platform, his message, and his agenda is exactly what this county needs. When we talk about poor education and dropout rates, Bernie Sanders says, let's give children free or reduced college education. But his opponent says, let's spend trillions of dollars in war. How are we going to pay for free education? I say, let's stop sending our kids to war where they die and make our country less safe. Bernie Sanders is a man of integrity. Bernie Sanders is a man that's going to lead this revolution and improve this country and lead us to where we have to be. Will you join me in making that fight and taking that fight and making sure that Bernie's the next president of the United States? Will you take your uncles, your aunts, your mothers, your fathers, your children, your friends, your neighbors, your church members, and go do phone banking. Visit our train stations. Visit our senior centers. Ladies and gentlemen, if we do not do this, if we do not commit 100% to making sure that we do everything possible to elect Bernie Sanders, if we do not do this, we are going to regret it. So I implore you, work with us because you are the future. As I look across this wonderful place, and I'm hearing Bernie Sanders is only supported by white men. What I see here is a beautiful mosaic of wonderful people of different backgrounds and cultures. Y para mis amigos, Latinos. Are there any Puerto Ricans in the house? Y los Dominicanos. 
mexicanos, guatemaltecos, all of us here, we're all this together. Es necesario trabajar para asegurar que Bernie Sanders sea el próximo presidente de esta nación. Su mensaje es el mensaje de nuestra comunidad. Su mensaje es el mensaje que va a ayudar a la pobreza, que va a asegurar que nuestros hijos puedan pagar para colegio, que va a asegurar que la pobreza en este condado sea algo del pasado y no del futuro. For my friends from Puerto Rico, you understand that Puerto Rico now is in a terrible economic crisis. This county has more Puerto Ricans living in it other than in San Juan. And I must tell you, we have a major problem in Puerto Rico. The island is being choked by the debt crisis of the greedy hedge fund managers. They don't care about anything except their money. They don't care if we can't provide health care to the people of the island. They don't care if we can't provide basic services like sanitation and, and, and education to the children of the island. They just want their money. And I'm proud to say that Bernie Sanders has provided the best plan to deal with that problem in Puerto Rico. Many have spoken. Many have given us lip service. Bernie, 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 What Bernie has said is let Puerto Rico file bankruptcy under Chapter 9 so they can deal with their debt crisis. But it doesn't end there. He's provided a program where he will contribute $1 trillion to provide 140,000 new jobs to the island of Puerto Rico. That is real. That is how you solve a crisis. And he's also helping with the island of Vieques. As you know, after 60 years of bombing by the US Navy, the residents of Vieques are suffering from unusually high rates of cancer, all attributed to the poison of those bombs. And the only candidate that's taking that and making that a personal issue is Bernie Sanders. So again, I ask you, are you feeling the burn? Yeah. Are we going to work together to make Bernie Sanders the next president of the United States? Yeah. Are we going to send a message to the political establishment that there's a new day dawning in this country? Yeah. Thank you all very much. God bless you. And let's work to make Bernie the next president of this country. God bless. Yeah.